Margaret Constance Maisie Williams is an English actress who made her acting debut in 2011 as Arya Stark, a lead character in the HBO epic medieval fantasy drama series Game of Thrones. Williams garnered critical praise and accolades for her work on the show, receiving two nominations for the Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series and Global Recognition. Williams' other television appearances include guest starring on the BBC science fiction series Doctor Who, the British docudrama television film Cyberbully, the British science fiction teen thriller film I Boy and the comedy action drama series Two Weeks to Live. Williams also voiced Cammie McLeod in the American animated web series Gen Lock. In 2014, she starred in her first feature film, the coming-of-age mystery drama The Falling, for which she received critical acclaim and awards recognition. She had co-starring roles in films such as the romantic period drama film Mary Shelley, the animated prehistorical sports comedy film Early Man, and the romantic comedy drama film Then Came You. In 2020 she starred in the superhero horror film The New Mutants and the psychological thriller The Owners. In 2018, she made her stage debut in Lauren Gunderson's play I and You at the Hampstead Theatre in London, to positive critical reviews. Williams is also an internet entrepreneur. In 2019, she jointly developed and co-launched the social media platform Daisy, a multimedia networking app designed to be an alternative means to help artists and creators in their careers. One of the main purposes of the platform is to support collaboration between creators on artistic projects from across various creative industries, as well as a hosting service upon which creators can showcase their own and joint work. Margaret Constance Williams was born in Bristol on April 15, 1997 to Hilary Pitt, a university course administrator who later gave up her job to support her daughter's acting career. Williams' parents separated when she was four months old. The youngest of four siblings, Williams was raised by her mother and stepfather in a three-bedroom council house in the village of Clutton, Somerset. From an early age, from when she was tiny, Williams has always been known as Maisie, nicknamed because of her perceived likeness to the cartoon character from the UK newspaper comic strip The Perishers. Williams went to Clutton Primary School and Norton Hill School in Midsummer Norton, before transferring to Bath Dance College to study performing arts, where she trained in musical theatre. Ballet, point, tap, street, freestyle, gymnastics and trampolining, with the ambition of becoming a professional dancer. For a couple of years she was taught at home. She left school at 14, before taking her final secondary school examinations, partly due to personal difficulties. She experienced going back to her regular school while starring in a popular television series and also because of the successful commencement of her acting career. At the age of 12, Williams started her professional acting career by co-starring in one of the largest ensemble casts on television. She was cast in the role of Arya Stark, the feisty young tomboy daughter of an important noble family in HBO's historical fantasy drama series Game of Thrones. Williams had almost missed the audition, since it coincided with a school trip, her mother convinced her to go to the audition. As the series viewership rose, the international popularity of Game of Thrones gave Williams global recognition. Williams with Game of Thrones co-star Sophie Turner in March 2013 the character of Arya Stark is regarded as an anti-heroine, a fan favorite and one of the central protagonists in the Game of Thrones fantasy epic. The character's story arc across the first six seasons encompasses severance, trauma, tragedy and revenge. The physical role required a young actor who could portray a deadly assassin. Williams, who did the majority of her own stunts and fight scenes in the series, is naturally right-handed, but kept in character by performing left-handed in the show. And was told a year before the filming of The Long Night to build up her stamina for the episode. Williams' performance in the longest battle scene in film and television history, was nominated for the 2020 BAFTA TV Awards under the must-see moment category. Williams appeared in all eight broadcast seasons of Game of Thrones, the final episode of which aired in May 2019. Critical reception for Arya Stark Williams received critical praise and recognition for her portrayal of Arya in the show. In her second year of professional acting, she was submitted in the category of Outstanding Supporting Actress for the 64th Primetime Emmy Awards by HBO, but did not make the nomination shortlist. She won the 2012 Portal Award for Best Supporting Actress, Television and the Portal Award for Best Young Actor. In November 2013, she received the BBC Radio 1 Teen Award for Best British Actor. August 2014 she won Best Supporting Actress, Drama in the EUE Awards. In 2015, she was awarded the Empire Hero Award, and the Saturn Award for Best Performance by a Young Actor in a Television Series in 2016, 
she was nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series. In 2019, her performance in final season of the drama resulted in her again receiving the Saturn Award for Best Performance by a Younger Actor in a Television Series. As well as nominations for the Best Hero and Best Fight in the MTV Movie and TV Awards and People's Choice Awards for the Female TV Star and the Drama TV Star. Regarding Williams' second Primetime Emmy Award nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Drama Series in 2019, Daniel Daddario from Variety said that Williams entered the show as a child with minimal experience. But swiftly proved herself a very gifted performer. Millions watched her grow into her talents, and a fitting end to her very unusual journey through her first role would be for her to win an Emmy. Cultural impact in 2012, the name Aria became the fastest rising baby girl's name in the U.S., jumping in popularity from 711th to the 413th position, largely due to the popularity of Williams' character Arya Stark. The name maintained its popularity in 2019 as was ranked 92 in the U.S. and its variation Arya was listed at 20. The name also entered the top 200 most commonly used names for baby girls born in England and Wales in 2017. The 2017 international hit Look What You Made Me Do by American singer-songwriter Taylor Swift was partially inspired by Williams' Aria, with the line I've got a list of names and yours is in red. Underlined inspired by her kill list, and Canadian rapper Drake thanked Aria Stark for killing the Night King during his acceptance speech at the 2019 Billboard Music Awards. Williams was also one of 10 actors from Game of Thrones featured in character in a collection of Royal Mail first-class postage stamps. The set which celebrates British contributions towards the show was released to the UK Post Office in January 2018. 2012-2015, The Falling, Cyberbully and Doctor Who in 2012, Williams took part in the Olympic ticket scalper a funny or die skit. That same year, Williams portrayed Loren Cayley in the three-part BBC supernatural thriller series The Secret of Crickley Hall. She also appeared in the independent film Heatstroke, and the short film Up on the Roof. In 2014, Williams was cast in the role of Lydia in the British melodramatic coming-of-age mystery film drama The Falling, set in an all-girls school, for which she was awarded the London Film Critics Circle Award for Young Performer of the Year. Evening Standard British Film Award Rising Star and the European Shooting Stars Award at the 65th Berlin International Film Festival for her role in Carol Morley's feature. The film premiered at the BFI London Film Festival on October 11, 2014, and was released theatrically on April 24, 2015 in the UK. Guy Lodge of Variety described Williams as prodigiously gifted and giving a brilliantly articulated, bristling, often spikily funny performance. In 2014, she also played Abby in the Irish comedy drama film Gold. In January 2015, Williams starred as Casey Jacobs in the one-hour-long BAFTA-nominated Cyberbully, a Channel 4 docudrama television film. Writing for The Guardian, Philippa Jodelka described William's central, almost solo, performance as a tour de force. In autumn 2015, Williams guest starred in four episodes of Series 9 of the BBC science fiction series Doctor Who, The Girl Who Died, The Woman Who Lived. Face the Raven and Hell Bent, in the recurring role of a shielder, a Viking girl made immortal by the Doctor. Williams' performance in The Woman Who Lived was described as superb by Patrick Mulkern of the Radio Times. Williams at the 2015 San Diego Comic Con 2017-2019, I Boy, Early Man, I N U and Janlock in 2017, Williams starred, alongside Bill Milner, as Lucy in the Netflix science fiction teen superhero thriller film I Boy. Tristram Fane Saunders of the Daily Telegraph felt she brought depth, humor and honesty to the role. Also in 2017, Williams appeared as Isabel Baxter in Mary Shelley a romantic period drama film directed by Haifa Almansur and written by Emma Jensen. In 2018, she voiced the character Guna, a Bronze Age fearless rebel tomboy football enthusiast in Nick Park's animated prehistoric comedy sports film Early Man that also featured Eddie Redmayne and Tom Hiddleston. Though both Gwilym Mumford of The Guardian and Kate Stables of the British Film Institute noted that her accent varied during the film. From 18 October to November 24, 2018, Williams starred as Caroline in the stage play I and You, which was written by Lauren Gunderson. The play premiered at the Hampstead Theatre in London. The play did well at the box office and Williams' stage performance was regarded a critical success, with the production later being broadcast free on Instagram from 30 November to December 3, 2018 and again during the last week of March 2020. She also starred in the 11-minute short film Corvidae a dark fairy tale filmed in 2013 and released in 2018, 
of which Craig Holton of Flickfeast commented. Matt Williams brought an undeniably ethereal quality to this short film, helping it make the leap from grounded realism to eldritch bucolic fantasy. In 2019, Williams starred alongside Asa Butterfield and Nina Dobrev in the coming-of-age romantic comedy drama film Then Came You, in which she played a teenager with a terminal illness. Frank Sheck of The Hollywood Reporter felt that Williams made her sprightly character appealingly vulnerable. The film premiered at the Woodstock Film Festival on October 12, 2018 and was released nationwide in 2019. Also in 2019, she starred in the voice cast of Gen Lock, an American animated web series, set in a dystopian future, which is broadcast on the Rooster Teeth subscription service. Williams voiced the role of Cammy McLeod, a mischievous Scottish hacker, in a cast that included Michael B. Jordan, David Tennant, and Dakota Fanning. On November 4, 2021, the second season of nine episodes premiered on HBO Max first before it is released on Rooster Teeth three months later. 2020 present, The New Mutants, Two Weeks to Live, and the owners originally set for release on April 13, 2018. In late August 2020, Williams co starred in the repeatedly delayed Disney slash Fox superhero horror film The New Mutants. The New York Times said Williams portrayed the Marvel superhero Ronnie Sinclair, Wolf Spain, a Scottish mutant who can turn into a wolf but struggles to reconcile this with her religious beliefs, with endearing sincerity. Though the film received mixed to negative reviews her performance was regarded as good by The Hollywood Reporter, including adding layers of panache and emotion to her character. The film was released in in theaters which were partly open, with reduced capacity, due to the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic, in August 2020. At the July 2020 virtual San Diego Comic-Con Comic-Con at Home Fan Convention, an online panel featuring Williams, Taylor Joy, Hunt, as well as Charlie Heaton. Alice Braga, Henry Zaga, plus writer-director Josh Boone and the original comic book artist Bill Shankiewicz took place. The online panel opened with a cheeky teaser trailer that went through the film's five previous release dates since April 13, 2018. During the panel, Williams spoke about the same-sex romance between her character Ronnie and Danny Moonstar, that is at the heart of movie it was wonderful to see a relationship like this in the typically masculine world of superheroes. It was lovely to see these two fragile women who protect one another and bring light out in each other. The Los Angeles Times describes Danny and Ronnie's romantic relationship as feeling honest and a central part of the story, grounding the film with a sense of humanity, while making the new mutants both a rare LGBTQ inclusive superhero film, as well as groundbreaking for a Disney release. In 2019, it was announced that she would star in Two Weeks to Live, a six-part dark, deadpan comedy revenge drama. Williams plays Kim Noakes, who has been raised in total isolation, living off the grid in the wilderness, by her overprotective doomsday-prepping badass survivalist mother, Tina. Action is set in motion following a seemingly harmless prank played on Kim of a fake video that makes her believe that everybody in the world has just two weeks to live. Kim, raised to believe the end times were close, sets off to kill the man who murdered her father in front of her when she was a child. The Guardian considers that Williams excels in her fish-out-of-water role, flitting between hapless and determined, worldly and childlike. Two Weeks to Live lets Williams flex comedy muscles while also showing off her stunt fighting and stunt skills. The enemy described the action drama as also genuinely funny. The UK series, written by Gabby Hall and produced by Kudos for Sky UK, debuted on September 2, 2020, and premiered in the U.S. on HBO Max on 5th of November. The six-part first series also stars Sean Kanop, Mon Rizwan, and Taheem Modak. Also in 2019, Williams was cast in the 1990s set psychological thriller The Owners, in which Williams is cast as Mary, a young woman who reluctantly agrees to participate in a botched robbery with her boyfriend and two other young low-level criminals of an old couple's home. The Hollywood Reporter, while praising McCoy and Tushingham more, felt that Williams used her innate appeal to make her character sympathetic. Dread Central felt that she gave better performance than she did in New Mutants and commented it's undeniably cool to see the young, now forever iconic actress kick ass in a real-world setting. The film was released by RLJE Films at select theaters, and digital on demand on 4th of September. The film was directed by French director Julius Berg and adapted from the graphic novel Une Nuit de Plein Lune by Belgian artist. Herman and writer Eve H. Her veteran co-actor Sylvester McCoy predicted success for Williams even beyond her acting progression. She's full of energy, a little bubbly ball of fire and creativity. The thing is that she's grown up in the business and she knows it inside out. She knew what she was doing, she knew what everyone else was doing. She's 
a rising star as an actress, but I wouldn't be at all surprised if she became a director and a producer. She's got all those abilities and that intelligence and the knowledge of the business from years of doing it. Being steeped in it, from a young age. Upcoming roles in January 2021, it was announced that Williams had been cast to portray the punk rock icon Jordan in. The upcoming six-episode biopic limited series Pistol for FX, about the Sex Pistols guitarist Steve Jones, based on Jones's 2018 memoir Lonely Boy, Tales from a Sex Pistol. The series is being executively produced and directed by Danny Boyle. Jordan was the archetypal subversive model whose distinctive Vivian Westwood designed outfits and outrageous makeup made her the original face of punk. And was co-credited with creating the punk rock fashion style. Williams delivered a feminist speech in New York at the launch of Always Is Like a Girl campaign in 2015. The speech was aimed at the Generation Z demographic of which Williams is a member. On February 2, 2020, Williams sang Let It Go, from the film Frozen, in an Audi commercial that aired during the broadcast of Super Bowl 54. In July 2020, she featured in the Apple MacBooks Made in the UK campaign ad celebrating UK-based creators alongside screenwriter and actor Michaela Cole. Artist Grayson Perry, filmmaker Jen and Kiru, animation studio Ardman, printmaker Gabriella Marcella, rapper Dave, and others including singer Labyrinth, whose song Imagination provides the soundtrack for the ad. In summer 2020, she was also appointed as an ambassador for Cartier's new Pasha de Cartier watch. In April 2021, H&M, the second largest international fashion retailer in the world, announced Maisie Williams as its global sustainability ambassador. This followed H&M's announcement in December that its foundation will be spending $100 million on green initiatives. The goal was to promote the brand's move to a circular fashion model where customers could recycle unwanted garments, resulting in less waste, and lower production environmental impact by the multinational retailer. However, Williams and H&M received a backlash from some sustainability activists and fair fashion campaigners, accusing both of greenwashing. The fast fashion brand recycling initiative was criticized for not going far enough, for not using sustainable materials from the outset, for perceived poor treatment of its workers and failure to meet the living wage targets they set themselves. The company strongly defended itself. Williams was criticized for lending her celebrity name and financially benefiting from the corporate partnership. Williams set up Daisy Chain Productions in early 2016 with Dom Santry and Bill Milner to develop and produce UK-originated short films. Theatrical features and high-end television drama, with a focus on opportunities for youth and development of talent in the UK. In 2017, the 19.54-minute short film Stealing Silver, which Williams executive produced and starred in alongside Ronald Pickup, was the company's first production. She has also founded Pine-Sized Pictures to help develop future female talent in the UK. Rapt Williams and Lowry Roberts, via their production company Rapt. Joined Manchester-based independent studio Delaval Film on a 15-minute UK-slash-Czech co-produced stop-motion animation short called Salvation Has No Name. Written and directed by Joseph Wallace. Lauren Dunn of Delaval is the producer, with Williams and Roberts joining the production as executive producers. Filming began in 2020 at Ardman Studios, and is set to complete in September 2021. Salvation Has No Name is a cinematic folktale that explores the issue of xenophobia and faith around the refugee crisis through a surreal performance of a troupe of circus clowns who gather to perform a story about a disillusioned priest falling in love with a refugee. But as their misguided tale unfolds, the border between fiction and reality begin to fray. The film features an all-female international voice cast, that includes Itziara Tuno, Yasmin Al-Masri, Anna Sava, Barbara Sotelsik, Katrina Cleave, and Elisabetta Spajari. Animators on the film include Tim Allen and Jody Meredith. Financing for the film has come from the BFI and the Czech Film Commission, with the film set to be screened at festivals in 2022. Williams is also an internet entrepreneur. With Santry, she co-developed and launched the beta version of a new iOS-compatible social media app called Daisy, on August 1, 2018. Daisy is a multimedia social networking-style platform, designed to help artists and creators of all types and backgrounds from across the various creative industries to showcase their work. Discover projects and collaborate and provide an alternative route to develop their careers. Users start by signing up and creating a profile on the DAISY website, after which they can search for creative projects and network with other users in the fields they are interested in. The way a user's profile grows is not by obtaining high follower popularity counts, 
friends, or likes, but rather by connecting with other creative people and working collaboratively on projects. Williams explains, the way your profile grows is by the chains that you make. To make a chain with someone, you have to work together. Creative users can use DAISY to showcase their own work or their collaborations in the same or multiple arts industries. They can also gain guidance from leading experts in their field via a question and answer style format with others who have more experience in their fields. Williams at TechCrunch Disrupt San Francisco. Williams and Santry said that they designed DAISY as a tool for young people to bypass the obstacles, both internal and external, that prevent budding artists from gaining recognition and exposure. Williams has stated that the goal is to have a community of artists who are collaborating with each other, uploading their work, sharing their projects and ultimately, help people with their own careers. Rather than our own. DAISY does not allow company profiles, the focus being on individual creators. Williams explained in 2019 that instead of creators having to market themselves to fit someone else's idea of what their job would be, they can let their art speak for themselves. The company is based in Shoreditch, a district in the East End of London. In May 2019, Daisy raised £2 million in seed funding from Founders Fund, 8VC, Kleiner Perkins, and from the newer venture capital firm Shrug Capital, set up by Angel List's former head of marketing Neve Drawer, who also separately invested. 11 days after the public launch, in May 2019, the number of users reached 100,000, most of whom were in London where the bulk of its marketing efforts had taken place. On app advice, Daisy achieved a score of 4 out of 5. Williams is the creative strategist and advisor to a platform called Contact, which was launched in October 2020, initially aimed at enabling agencies to discover and book fashion models. And for models take bookings. Contact was co-founded by Williams partner Ruben Selby, who was formerly part of Williams' Daisy team. Following successful fundraising seed funding, the intention is to expand into other creative fields such as photographers, stylists, videographers, and more. Williams said there's a casting process and at the moment, it's a hugely dated way of doing things between the casting directors and the actors, the writers etc. We want to build a very streamlined process. Contact offers an alternative approach to working in the creative industries which is currently dominated by agencies. Via contact, individuals and businesses can discover and book creators in creative services directly, circumventing the need for an agency. Selby said the contact platform aims to become a scalable back-end solution across the entire $104. 2 billion creator economy, democratizing access to the world's creative industry. In 2019, Williams presented a TEDx talk in Manchester on the topic Don't strive to be famous, strive to be talented. Williams begins by describing her childhood background, including having no formal qualifications to her name, and the seeming unsurmountable blocks on her realizing her childhood dreams of becoming a professional dancer. She says that her own personal unexpected career success, began with luck and timing. Williams then states that the entertainment industry is built on gatekeepers who hold all the power. She then goes on to introduce Daisy as a social network tool for artists to collaborate with each other, and gives control back to the creator. Williams at Paris Fashion Week in 2019 as a teenager, Williams won a Shorty Award in 2016 for her online presence, and in 2018, had almost 2 million followers on Twitter and 10.8 million followers on Instagram. Though Williams has been quoted saying no dress in the world is worth giving up sword fighting, according to Vogue's Janelle Okwaju, Williams has cultivated a quirky, youthful style, while the Daily Telegraph senior fashion editor Emily Cronin pointed out Williams' street style and that is a celebrity she has been courted by the fashion industry. In 2019, Williams and her boyfriend Ruben Selby started to appear on the fashion scene as a couple, regularly in coordinated ensembles. Williams shares an interest in design with Selby, who is a fashion designer, the founder of a modeling agency. Co-founder of a creative agency and former communications director of Williams' social media platform Daisy. From 2020, She collaborated with Selby with the establishment of his own sustainable genderless fashion line, which he debuted during the Paris Fashion Week in the courtyard of the Ritz Paris. Williams is a vocal environmental activist. In a 2019 interview with Days Digital, she said activist groups like Extinction Rebellion were a major inspiration. Williams is a global ambassador and campaigner for dolphin trainer Rick O'Berry's Dolphin Project, taking part in protests against dolphin hunts. She has also actively supported various campaigns in support of anti-bullying, gay marriage, trans rights, Black Lives Matter, the environmental organization Greenpeace and the clean water charity WaterAid. 
and used her status to encourage young people to vote. During the coronavirus pandemic, she donated £50,000 to support the work of the Bristol Animal Rescue Centre, from which she had adopted her own dog. Williams, along with Zoe Sugg and activist Adwo Abo, designed a limited edition period bag for WaterAid's non-profit monthly subscription service Fempowered. Williams' sustainable cotton bag has an abstract design featuring a womb, hands, and the slogan feeling bloody brilliant, and is designed to contain period products and fit into a handbag. Williams said she wanted to help girls feel period proud and to make life fairer for girls everywhere. Sales of the bags are intended to help both tackle taboos regarding periods, 65% of UK women say they feel too uncomfortable to openly carry their period products to the toilet in public, while also raising money to tackle international inequalities of period poverty. Where one in four people globally lack access to hygienic sanitation, safe private spaces and aids to help manage their periods hygienically, which results in many girls around the world missing or abandoning school. In April 2021, Williams was appointed the World Wildlife Fund's first global ambassador for climate and nature, supporting the charities. Global mission to turn around the crisis in climate and nature by 2030, ensuring a future where people and wildlife thrive. The charity stated. At the eve of COP November 26, 2021, Williams delivered the opening address at the premiere of Sir David Attenborough's upcoming television series The Green Planet at Glasgow's IMAX Cinema. The five-part series was made by the BBC Studios Natural History Unit and co-produced by ZDF and the Open University for BBC One and PBS in America. Thanks for watching.